Let's get started, Nation. Welcome back to another video. So our derby grind is over. It was an absolutely insane battle right till the end. We clutched out second place. Um, we also uh, got ourselves top in the local leaderboard, which is what we had to do to get... No, other way around. We had to do second place to get top in our local leaderboard because we were going in our local leaderboard against third place. Like, I, I, I definitely uh, feel like this was not the local leaderboard that you wanted to be in. Um, but anyways, today we're gonna do something that we had a lot of fun doing a few seasons back, which is how to do all the, I just like weird shadows in here. But anyways, uh, how to do the top skill moves. Uh, the top skill moves of FIFA Mobile, uh, we did a few seasons ago and our favorite one, even though it wasn't really like um, a great effective skill move was doing the El Tornado. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's in the game this time, but if you were able to do it, let me know because I would really love to do some El Tornado in this game. Um, so the first one that I got to show you, my I feel like it's probably like an honorable mention because again, um, it just looks really sweet. It's, it is effective, um, but it's kind of hard to actually make happen. Basically, what I think you have to do is you have to kind of tap over the player and then hope it goes in the air. And then if you swipe it and they have the flare attribute, they might do uh, this move right here. Oh, we just, there you go. So there you go, we did our Scorpion. We've actually done it three times in the game so far. Um, I'm gonna see if I can do it again when we're doing it, just by random, like, throughout this video, uh, trying to trying to hit that Scorpion move. Uh, but it does seem like, because you have a bit more control over where you tap it in this one, if you tap behind him and swipe, that's your best chance of kind of doing the Scorpion move. Um, I would guess they need the Flare attribute in order to do it. Um, but the ones we're gonna look at today, the first skill move that I'm gonna look at, I would say coming in at number, what is it, number five, number four? Uh, I, I, probably number five. I don't actually know how many skill moves we have in this one. Maybe number four. Uh, but our first skill move we're going to look at um, is this one here, which is kind of hard to find, um, you know, players with it. Usually I would say players uh, that have 85 plus um, in their uh, in their dribbling, uh, or 90 plus in their, sorry, 90 plus in their dribbling. I think those are the players that can do it, um, is the rainbow flick. Uh, so again, it, this is the move that if you played back in like season one, this was the most effective move um, that you could have uh, playing through it because it's like the rainbow flick could basically go over and stun the defenders you go over top of everyone um, that's our fifth ranked one right there okay so here we go so we got our uh, our rainbow flick the one problem with the rainbow flick uh, it is a bit slower of a move so it's nice if you have kind of that space on the players um, but again it's not like the most effective for getting past they don't really stop in their track you can't really you know get around them so it's a bit of a bulky move to use uh, the roulette we got going on um, gets you stopped in the players so that's kind of the problem with the the rainbow flick it's a fun move to use um, but it's not necessarily the most effective one to getting past the players. So we go with this, so a, a, a nice way to sort of get it if you get it quick, but again, it's easy to take the ball away from players when they're rainbow flicking. If you have time and space, um, or if you're going against computer players, sometimes it's helpful there, um, but you can see it's it's kind of hard to get off. Uh, you kind of have to have space in a head-to-head -head match. It's not the most effective move. Uh, if you're trying to like maybe stun computer players, uh, it might be a little bit better, but not the greatest move to use when you're going in the head-to-head -head mode this move here we'll put this as our as our number four as our number four yeah we'll be at number four yeah number four number four uh we'll do your number five number five we'll do the flick up uh so the flick up here number five um so uh, i've actually haven't used it in game i'm not gonna lie i just i just felt like putting one at number five so we'll put flick up Our number four, or our number three ranked move, I guess I should say, um, is going to be the heal to heal. So heal to heal, it's not the most effective move uh, for getting past players one on one, but if you can time it right, you can actually get some great um, opening space, sort of stuns the defenders, gets you past the defenders when you're in a one on one situation. Um, I would say that is my number three move right there, is the heal to heal. All right, so heal to heal. Um, so the heal to heal, you can see the heal to heal is really effective. The problem with the heal to heal um, is it gets a little bit too far away from you. So if, obviously if you're going against uh, defenders that are not high, uh, not strong, you can kind of get that, that movement going on them. But when you're playing against defenders, especially in head to head and stuff, uh, you really want to have a lot of open space to make effective use 
um, of that heal to heal move. So if you can if you can open up that space, if you can get that room, then heal to heal does tend to be a very effective move, but it's not the most effective move um, if you have a lot of defenders on you because you kind of have to take that moment to sort of get it back in position uh, when you're going through it. So there you go, that's the heal to heal. Okay, so number two, our number two move in this one is going to be the roulette. Every single player seems to have roulette. Uh, you tap to use it. It is definitely um, a, a move that is is beneficial to use, can get you into good space if you use it well. Um, but at the start where people are rouletting really slow, you're not making a lot of movement on the defender. So it's not the most ideal move um, at the start of the season. I'm sure once we get better players, faster players, it will become a lot more useful. But right now, it is not my favorite move. It is coming in at number two. So there you go you got the roulette can help you get some movement especially if they're gonna try and tackle you the roulette is a nice one to sort of uh, get past the past the defenders taken down that's got to be a penalty shot that's a penalty shot and a red card right there okay so we got to end this off with a nice little uh, goal off there as long as keeper doesn't go the right direction with the definitely uh, does not but you see that's where the root that is really helpful is when you get past a player um, Get a little bit of space if they're trying to just tackle you from behind you can sort of open up that little bit of movement on them um, But uh, they are very slow right now, which is one of the downsides of using the roulette at this point in the game The number one move we got here the best move in FIFA mobile to use by far is the flip-flap um, I've absolutely loved using this move. It is amazing. It is like it gets you open space uh, It looks awesome. It feels awesome. It's fun to use um, I'm a hundred percent a fan of using that move. All right, so here we go We have our top move here uh, the flip-flap It's basically like the heal to heal in terms of helping get past defenders uh, The advantage with the flip-flap is you can see you really hang on to it a little bit better um, So when you're getting past defenders, you're often able to kind of work around them um, these these are not the highest defenders, but even when you're playing against some top defenders, verse tack and stuff, going one on one, um, that tends to be the best move that you can use to try and just get around it uh, because you maintain really, really close possession of it and you stun the defenders uh, to get past them. In FIFA Mobile, we'll put them all into action uh, in a final head to head match. So here we go, so we put it up to Dos Santos first, so again we're going to try and check out his heal to heal, a bit of roulette to kind of mix in there as well, um, a good way to do it, but you can really open up that space, uh, you can see especially if they are auto defending, uh, you can really tell that they're auto defending there, even just the stop and turn helps to get there, Dos Santos gets into the box, we don't get the shot off in the end, um, but you can see all of that space that sort of opened up from him just using that heal to heal uh, action right there, as we move this ball up, ooh we got some lag going on, we got a little bit of a little bit of jumpy jumpies going on in this FIFA mobile game. Alright, so again, we have our uh, heal to heal. So the heal to heal, um, it again is not the necessarily the most effective for uh, getting past players, but if you're kind of trying to go one on one on them, uh, it does work out pretty well. Try to feed that through ball there, uh, but missed on that one. So a little bit unfortunate there to, to miss on that. Great play to stop that. Lopez. Lopez is going to put that into the middle. One more out there to Dos Santos. Dos Santos, he's got one player there. He's gonna use his move to try and get past him. It does not work that time. Okay, so we bring that ball up. Gets it there. Dos Santos, one on one. Oh. He's not playing that. He's not playing that way. Tries to get past him with the heel to heel. Ooh, we're gonna take him out. That probably's gonna be a foul. Nice through ball there to Martinez. Martinez will drill that in the back of the net. Okay, here we go. Getting this up. Dos Santos, he's got one player to beat. He gets past him. Look at that flip flap right there in action. Uh, exactly as you want to see it. So when you're going one-on-one -on -one with the defender, if you can get right in that position and do it, you can get by them very easy. Easier, actually, uh, than I feel like you would do it with the roulette. All right, back on this one again. Okay, so Dos Santos, he's going to go with the roulette. He does the flip-flap and roulette together. Using them both together, definitely helpful. Tries that second one. Gets into the top of the box. Flip-flaps it to get some space. Makes that space. Takes the shot. So you can really see that flip-flap 
gets you that space, it gets you that opening, it puts it in the back of the net. It can usually also help keep the keeper out of position. This is why I love this move right here. This is why it's my number one choice as a move. Um, very helpful in verse stack. When we were grounded to try and be number one in the world in the derby, we used this move uh, quite a lot to get past the final defenders. Um, I would showcase it more now, but if I play verse stack, all the teams I play against are super low overall, so you don't actually really get to see uh, too many drives that you have with that. But I'll try and uh, pull some uh, some footage made from the live streams of us using it. So here we go. So just Santos again goes with his little uh, flip flap action. Gets it up. Martinez again. It's the healed heel. Ooh, we didn't have it. The one big thing though to keep in mind with all of these swipe up ones, you don't want to be holding the sprint button. If you're holding the sprint button, it doesn't work. So the best, most effective way to do any of these skill moves when it's a swipe up one is to let off the uh, sprint skill button and just uh, play it as you normally would. So if we go here, uh, we can get it there. Dos Santos is gonna try and get it past the keeper. Uh, you can see if I'm trying to hold on to it, that's when I'm actually going to, uh, I'm gonna sprint right into the defender. So you wanna take off the button and that's gonna be the effective way that you're gonna wanna use it. So Martinez is gonna go out here. You can see Dos Santos, uh, as we come up, we take off the sprint skill button. That's where we're gonna make the fakes. Uh, that's where we're gonna get past them that way. And that's where we're gonna end up getting what should have probably been a foul, but wasn't, but that's okay. We'll get the shot off anyways, but that's how you want to do it. If you use the sprint button and hold down the sprint button when you do these skill moves, it's not going to allow you uh, to, to take advantage of it. You're usually just going to run straight into the defender. So if we see here, that's probably what we'll end up doing there. You can see it's not as quick to do it, um, but still a great move. So right there, we're holding down the button and that's why we weren't able to get past him. Um, and again, that's the heel to heel and that's why the heel to heel can be dangerous because it gets away from you way easier than the flip flat move. So thank you for checking this out and stop by. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop deep.